We are building our own home and it has taken a very long time. We are finally getting around to finishing up the bathroom and I am super pumped. Because I've been dealing with towels on the floor, towels hanging on the door, and towel piles by the sink. So today I'm going to show you guys how to build a towel rack to clean up that mess. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I will be posting new videos every week. And now let's get started. Here's a quick peek at the tools you'll need. First thing we're gonna do is make our lumber cuts for our rack. I used a one by 12 and cut two 22 inch pieces, one for the back and one for the shelf. I wanted my shelf to be three and a half inches wide. I just turned my one by 12 vertically to make this cut. You can also use a table saw to do this. Once I had my pieces, I sanded all of the edges and figured out where I wanted my shelf to be placed and marked it at either end. Make sure you have enough room for your hooks when you're planning this part. I drew my shelf marks down the side and then onto the back to make sure I knew exactly where my screws needed to go. Now that I've got my shelf marked in, I'm ready to start assembling. I used another three and a half inch piece of wood to stabilize my rack while I put it together and lined my shelf up with my marks. I'm going to put four screws in through the back. First I'm going to drill to prevent splitting, then glue to add strength, and then screw. It's very important during this part that your drill bit and screws are going as straight as possible into the shelf so that it doesn't come out the sides. Make sure you clean up any glue that may have squeezed out as stain will not stick to the dried glue. Now I'm going to stain my shelf using Early American by Minwax, but feel free to use whatever paint or stain best suits your space and taste. I recommend a quick nap before removing any excess stain with an old rag. Make sure you wipe in the same direction as the wood grain for the best finish. Now space out your hooks and screw them on. Before we put up the towel rack, I'm going to pre-drill a hole in each corner using a countersink drill bit so we can screw it directly to the wall. If you're not able to drill directly into a stud, you'll need to use drywall anchors. To do this, I placed my rack on the wall and marked where the corners will be, using a level to make sure it's straight. Then I used a drill bit that was smaller than my pre-drilled holes to scratch a small mark on the wall where my anchors need to go. To finish it off, I hammered in my anchors and attached my towel rack with 3 inch screws. so much for watching. I hope you feel proud of what you've made and inspired to create again. Hope to see you all again soon. XOX Heidi.